I would like to talk about the financial disclosure forms that have to be filled out in pretty much every single family court case in Clark County, Nevada, whether it's for a divorce or for a child custody, child support proceeding. And this is uh, the financial disclosures, two types, general financial disclosure form and detailed financial disclosure form. The general financial disclosure form is the one that most people use because they work for someone else. And it's pretty clear what they make. You just look at their pay stubs. The detailed financial disclosure form is more involved and more in-depth because the person filling it out has their own business or works for themselves and so it's not quite clear how much they actually get to keep for themselves and how much they're going to have to pay just to run their business. These forms are almost like filling out tax returns and a lot of people go and hire tax people to help them with their taxes but um, these forms you can certainly do yourself or have a lawyer guide you assist you because they can be a little confusing these forms are necessary for the judge to understand the financial conditions of both parties to determine child support or alimony or property division or any other financial type situation like attorney's fees even so the forms are available online for free and um, they're not very lengthy but you do have to attach things like pay stubs to them and you essentially put down your occupation you know your age and so forth on the first page and then on subsequent pages you write down um, how much you make your gross monthly income any deductions off your pay stub and then on another a page you have to put down your expenses and your debts and so forth um, one of the reasons I want to discuss this topic is because the financial disclosure form is a great place to find out if somebody is a liar if they lie on their financial disclosure form what else might they be lying about so it's very important to fill that form out correctly to the best of your ability in such a way that you can defend the answers that you put in the blanks of that form. And when in doubt, you can ask an attorney. You can also attach a supplement to the form. A lot of people don't know that, but if you need more space to explain something, you could attach uh, a slight you know not a very lengthy explanation for your answer because you don't want to come across as a liar or someone who's trying to hide your income or your assets and if you're confused by a question nobody should have a problem with you explaining your confusion and giving the best answer you can um, these forms need to be filed with the court usually very early on in the case. I usually tell my prospective clients to fill them out right away. Right alongside any other documents that they're going to fill out. So they can file them right away. You don't have to have the court kick your case further down the line another month or two out simply because you didn't file the form that you were supposed to file. And it's very useful to also see what the other party you're against has for income and expenses and to look for ways they might be exaggerating their expenses and um, lying about their income, under-exaggerating, underestimating their income. You know, when somebody is asking for temporary spousal support, but then they're putting expenses on there, um, like vacations, uh, you know, cosmetic surgery, you know, things like that. But then they say, oh, I really need this money in order to survive every month. 
but then they're wasting money and their expenses. You know, that gives room for the attorney representing the one who might have to give up some of their money to say, hey, she doesn't really need this spousal support, or he. I said she, but it could be either spouse could be asking for spousal support. Um, that person doesn't really need it because they're just squandering the money that they do have access to. So just a very brief explanation of the general and detailed financial disclosure forms. If you have any questions, please contact me or any other lawyer. I charge $100 for one hour consultations, which is very reasonable. Um, and I don't do a sales pitch. You come in and I try to answer all your questions and give you a plan of attack on your case. I'm Nevada attorney Anthony Wright. Please subscribe below and leave comments, but remember comments are not confidential in a public forum.